Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 News. Waltham resident Shelson Jules passed away on Monday the 22nd, apparently from a gunshot that occurred about 1.30 a.m. near Lyman Street and Faneuil Street. According to a GoFundMe set up to support his family, Shelson was also known as JJ and was a 22-year-old alum of Waltham High School. Waltham Police and the District Attorney are investigating the shooting, and so far no additional details have been made public. This weekend is the first weekend a portion of Moody Street is closed to cars this year under the new hybrid plan that allows for outdoor dining, but with more restrictions than in past years. Moody Street from High Street to Pine Street will be closed to cars Thursday evening through Sunday, as well as some holiday Mondays from now through September 25th. According to a WCAC article, business owners have mixed feelings about the new arrangement, but 12 restaurants as well as the game Underground have applied to use outdoor space. A few more prospective candidates have pulled papers for this year's Waltham election. They include one more person who's been part of our Channel 781 news team, Chris Hammer, who has helped us with video production, plans to challenge Councillor Harris in Ward 8. In addition, Tammy Wong Bingalow is the first challenger to pull papers for the school committee race. Waltham police officer Paul Tracy has pulled papers for Ward 3. And elementary principal Stephen Duffy plans to run at large. Waltham Pride is happening next Saturday, June 3rd on the Waltham Common. This is the third time in Waltham's history that we've had our own Pride event and the second year on the Common. Some of last year's popular performers will be returning, including Missy Steak, Evan Greer, Toast, Katie Gulati, Rose Bello, and Zumba with Jen, along with a new drag performer, Iris Laveau. Speakers will include community members from the middle school, high school, Brandeis, a local church, and Waltham's recently formed Trans Alliance. That's 11 to 4 on Saturday, and if you'd like to help out, there's still time to sign up as a volunteer. We'll have Nick Hammond and Amanda Kennedy on our DB show to talk more about that. In this week's city council meeting, councillors Bradley, MacArthur, Paz, and Darcy introduced a resolution recognizing Pride Month and calling for a pride flag to fly on the common. The council voted to approve that without committee reference. Also in this week's meeting, councillor Paz resubmitted the housing rights notification ordinance and the council set a date for a citizen input hearing to take place Wednesday, June 21st at 6.30 p.m. at Government Center. That ordinance was originally proposed by Watch CDC and required landlords to give tenants in danger of eviction information about their rights. The new version PAS submitted includes language that also protects homeowners in danger of foreclosure. Also in recent meetings, the City Council shot down a proposal to make Waltham building codes more efficient. The state set standards that require new buildings or renovations to meet a certain level of energy efficiency, but municipalities can choose to adopt stretch codes that require a higher standard, which Waltham has done in the past. Councillor Bradley MacArthur submitted a resolution to adopt the latest stretch codes, which was discussed at the Public Works and Public Safety Committee on the 15th. At that meeting, Councillor LaFauci argued that the standards were too difficult to meet. He said that fossil fuels are not going away and argued that it doesn't make sense for Waltham to take steps to address climate change if not all states and countries are doing it. The committee recommended the council file the resolution with prejudice, meaning they will not take action on it. No one can submit a similar resolution for at least a year. In the following meeting, the council voted to do just that, despite an effort by Councillor Bradley MacArthur to send it back to committee. Also at this meeting, neighbors showed up to oppose a proposed lodging house on Robin Street that would provide shared bedrooms for about 20 people in recovery from addictions. That was sent to committee, and we'll talk about that more on our debrief show. A proposed solar plant in Lexington near the Cambridge Reservoir and the Waltham Line was approved by the Lexington Planning Board on the 17th. The city of Waltham previously went to court to prevent developers from building an access road to the plant through a Waltham neighborhood, but lost. More recently, Waltham neighbors organized to pressure the Lexington government not to approve the project. At the recent city council meeting, Councillor Darcy requested certain city department heads comes to the next meeting to discuss. There's no city council meeting this week, but committee meetings will return on June 5th. The next thing we post will be our debrief show, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.